Good morning. We're so thankful you decided to worship with us as we sing praises to God, listen to a message inspired by God's Word, read Scripture, spend time in prayer, and join together in communion to celebrate the blood and body of Christ and to remember what He has done for us. If you have any needs or special requests, please let the church office know or post a comment on the private Facebook member page. Again, we're so glad you've joined us. We are excited to have a date set for having classes and worship services back to normal. On Wednesday, October 6th, our Wednesday classes will go back to how they were before. Please check the bulletin for a list of Wednesday classes. On Sundays, beginning October 10th, we will have our normal classes at 9 a.m. and our worship service in the auditorium at 10 a.m. Children's worship will also go back to normal on October 10th. We will have worship service overflow in room 115 if needed, and we will live stream the service online and in the gym. Masks will still be required in the gym. Westgate is sending a donation to two churches in Louisiana to help in the recovery efforts for their members and the community. If you would like to help offset this donation from the church, please write Louisiana on the memo line of your check or in the notes section of your online contribution. Sunday, October 3rd will be a special day at Westgate. We have designated that Sunday as Agape Sunday, and we have a special video with more information about Agape. From the moment we started pursuing things, it was just so clear that that was what the Lord would have for us and clear that it was Agape that would uh, kind of be walking us through the process and definitely no regrets. <laughs> One thing that we take very seriously is making sure adoptive families are educated on all of the potential needs of adopted children from the impacts of trauma all the way through how to maintain a healthy connection and relationship with their birth family. I loved the fact that Kaylin was super upfront about the fact that we're looking for families for children, not children for families. And honestly, like in the best possible way, it was kind of communicating like, look, we love you, but you're not necessarily the priority. I was like, yeah, actually, that makes sense 100%. I think a lot of people don't choose adoption because they think it's like big and scary until you get into it. But she made every part of the process so simple for us. The heart of our services is to do really hard things well. And we measure doing them well by the women that are placing these children. Do they feel loved? Have they been empowered? Have they had all of their options presented before them? And doing that well with our adoptive families, we challenge them to look at their motivation for adoption. We challenge them to talk through hard things together and we help them identify their strengths in parenting and apply those things to how they raise their child and how they form a connection with their child's birth family. Having been adopted at the age of 12 myself by a wonderful family, they literally changed my life, and not just my life, but also the trajectory of my own children. So it's generational. And I see Agape doing this work on a daily basis. It's about so much more than just parents getting a kid. When you're supporting someone, even financially, you're supporting way more than just to people having getting a child. It's not strictly an adoption agency that's about, you know, putting kids in homes. They really focus around what's best for the mother, what's best for the child, and they they minister to them. So it's, it's more than an adoption agency. It really is a ministry um, that just does incredible work to help people going through some of the toughest situations that they'll ever face. Adoptive parents are not the priority, and that's the way that it should be. And so the way that they love and serve birth mothers first, I think is the thing that um, I would say without hesitation, anyone should find a way to, to give and to help. It's truly amazing to see families come together for the purpose of adoption, unified by a love for a child. Steve Dewar from Agape will lead our Sunday morning adult combined class October 3rd and will also focus our minds on Christ during communion. We have committed to sending Agape all the money we receive during the offering above our budgeted contribution that morning to help them as they serve foster children and families. Ronald Reagan was the 40th president, but before that he was a successful actor in Hollywood. However, not every movie was a success in his eyes. In fact, 
Reagan called his movie Code of the Secret Service, quote, the worst picture I ever made, end quote. On March 30th, 1981, John Hinckley Jr. shot Reagan in an assassination attempt. The quick action of special agent in charge Jerry Parr saved Reagan's life, but Parr may never have been in a spot to act so quickly had he never been inspired to join the Secret Service by a movie he saw when he was a young boy, a movie starring the man he later would vow to protect, who called it his worst film, a movie called Code of the Secret Service. Paul writes, For Christ's sake I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties, for when I am weak, then I am strong. We all make mistakes and we all have moments in which we wish we could have reacted differently, but constantly replaying those regrets and looking toward the past does nothing but take our eyes off the current moment. And the truth is, we should be thankful for weaknesses and imperfections because it's in these things that God can truly be glorified. Let's join together and worship God.